Faber-Castell's Pitt Graphite Matte or Stedler Mars Lumograph Black. If you're watching this, you're probably pondering which one is right for you. And from someone who's used both of them myself, I want to give you my honest thoughts and opinions on them so that you can make a more informed decision. So with that said, let's dive straight into the video. So I want to start things off super simple with the price. Now a Faber-Castell set, or the set that I have, will knock you back £19, whereas the Steadley set will knock you back £9. Now this kind of means nothing because the Faber-Castell, it comes with eight pencils, a blending stump, a rubber, and also a pencil sharpener, whereas the Steadler only comes with six pencils. So what we're going to do is going to say that the rubber, blending stump, and pencil sharpener were probably around £4, so we're going to subtract £4 from that to give us £15 of the money that we spent on our set of pencils that actually went towards the pencils. So in order to compare the prices, we're gonna work out the price for one pencil. And in order to do this, we're gonna do the 15 pounds divided by the number of pencils in the set, which in this case was eight, which gives us one pounds or one pound and 88 pence per pencil. So if you come over to the Stedler, you get six pencils. So we're gonna do the nine divided by the six, which gives us one pound and 50 pence per pencil. So here we can see that the Faber-Castells are actually more expensive per pencil. But with that said, let's move on to some actual meaningful testing, starting off with how they feel to draw with. And if I'm being honest, they feel just like a normal graphite pencil would. I mean, yes, they do feel a bit softer in the lead, especially with the Mars Lumograph Black. But apart from that, the feel is pretty much just like a normal pencil. But one thing I would say is that because the leads are a lot darker than graphite pencils, they are a bit harder to rub out. This is why I'd recommend that you use them for shading instead of sketching and you still use your normal graphite pencils if you do want to do a sketch. And on the topic of shading, they both work really well with a blending stump to create really smooth textures. However, two differences that I want to get into is which one can go the darkest and which one is least reflective and if you're wondering what I mean by reflective if you look at this normal graphite drawing I did and I move a light over it you'll see that it just shines as the light moves across it and this is something that both of these pencils claim to fix. Starting off with which one can go the darkest and as the Stedler only goes up to an 8B I'm going to test the 8Bs from both sets as well as a standard 8B graphite pencil to act as a control and I'm going to put all of these three head to head to see which one has the darkest finish. So starting off with the standard graphite Graphite, then the Stedler, then the Faber-Castell. And I'm using lots of layers here and also pressing really quite firmly to try and test the limits of each of the pencils. So as you can see here, the Stedler is in a league of its own in terms of its dark black finish. And if you're thinking, oh, well, the Faber-Castell has a 14B pencil. Well, let me show you. If you put the 14B against the Stedler right here, pressing pretty damn hard, it is still nowhere near as dark as the Stedler. And if you really want to rub salt in the wound, one of Faber-Castell's unique selling points with these pencils is that they have reduced reflection. However, if I have a play around with the lighting and just move it around, you'll see that they all reflect the light a little bit. The standard graphite quite a bit, the Faber-Castell's a bit less, but the Stedler, it kind of just stays dark. It has the least reflection out of all of them and it doesn't even have that as a kind of selling point of the pencils, which is kind of crazy. Now that was a lot of dirt on Faber-Castell's Pitt Graphite Matte, and it wasn't necessarily fair because they are definitely an upgrade from standard graphite pencils as they are able to go a lot darker and they have reduced reflection. However, if I'm being honest, I would personally choose the Mars Lumograph Black as they're able to just go extremely dark in those shadows, which will increase the contrast, that your drawings will have more pop to them, and they just don't seem to reflect the light as much as the Pitt Matte Graphites or indeed standard graphite pencils. So there you go, that was a pretty short video that should hopefully help you decide which one of these pencils is best for you and if you have enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon with more drawing videos.